Hello everybody, Josh12 back here again with another video and I'm here to give you another top 5 list. Yes, it's that time of the week again, so let's get into this week's top 5 list. Now, of course, last time I gave you my top 5 worst Dragon Ball Super Battle of God Saga episodes. The worst of the worst. The episodes that I consider to be god-awful and bullshit to the word Dragon Ball in Dragon Ball Super. Particularly in the Battle of God Saga. Now, of course, the Battle of God Saga consists of 14 episodes. So, of course, I picked and choose the worst episodes out of that saga. Particularly the 14 that is mentioned. And now I'm here to give you my top 5 best episodes of the Battle of God Saga of Dragon Ball Super. Of course, Battle of Gods is, you know, based off the film. And, of course, is... Just a recap of that movie, essentially. A lot of people love it, a lot of people hate it. But here are my personal favorite and what I consider to be the best episodes out of said saga. Now, of course, I'm going to do the same for the Frieza saga, the Resurrection F saga, of course. And whenever Universe 6 comes to its end, I will do the same thing for that as well. The worst and best of those sagas. But with that being said and done, let's get into this particular top 5 list. Now, as always... My top five lists are subjective. They're my personal list, my personal thoughts. So, of course, in the comment section below, let me know what you personally think are the best episodes out of the Battle of God saga. But with that being said and done, let's get in this list finally. Coming up at number five has to go to episode one. Who will the 100 million Zenny peace reward go to question mark now of course this is the first episode the introduction episode to dragon ball super and there was a lot of hype towards this episode and for me personally i think it's one of the most peaceful and entertaining opening uh to an episode series i mean like i personally really didn't know which way dragon ball super was going to go it's going to be amazing it's going to be crap episode one gave us or gave me at least Everything that I would have wanted out of Dragon Ball Super episode, I mean, premiere, if you will, it's fun, it's entertaining, there's some action there, there's a lot of throwbacks, it's freaking hilarious as always in true Dragon Ball fashion. I mean, like, it's Goku as a freaking farmer. It's fucking awesome. And then you have this Goten Trunks subplot, which is also pretty entertaining, and then there's this overtone of the Beerus threat. You know, and the upcoming prophecy of a said dream, which is, of course, pertaining to the Super Saiyan God transformation, which is awesome. So there was a lot of really cool things. Obviously, it has a very fillerific kind of tone to it. But as an introduction episode to the series, I personally thought it was all right. I thought it was great. And it's also one of my favorite out of the whole. But with that being said and done, moving off of that and going to number four on this list has to go to episode two, Onward to the Promised Resort. Vegeta goes on a family trip. Now, for me personally, the best episodes of Super thus far have mostly been the Vegeta episodes. I personally think the Vegeta episodes are usually the best of the best of Dragon Ball Super. That's my personal subjective opinion. They're just more entertaining. They're more fun. They're more interesting in comparison to other episodes that are dedicated to like Goku or Gohan or whoever else on this show. But overall, the Vegeta stuff are freaking on point hilarious and full-on entertaining and this one is basically the template towards that i mean like it's vegeta on a freaking family trip to some amusement park slash resort i mean like that's just hilarious i mean in what kind of reality are we living in where we have an animated canon episode of dragon ball where vegeta and boma and kid trunks go on a family trip together something that you would have never seen ever unless it was like on a parody manga or some such shit. I mean, like, that's just hilarious to me. And Vegeta, the way he reacts to these real worldy kind of average normal human being type things, it's just hilarious. It's just funny and entertaining. I mean, this is the kind of stuff that you would have ex that you've kind of got with Goku back in the early parts of Dragon Ball when he was like understanding the world around him. It's kind of the same thing, except Vegeta is more of an asshole and he's pissed off about a lot of things. And of course, the Vegeta Boma moments are always you know heartwarming and entertaining at its core. But with that being said and done, moving off of that and going to number three on this list has to go to episode six. Don't Anger the God of Destruction, the Heart-Pounding Birthday Party. Yes, once again, another Vegeta-oriented episode after the whole, you know, Goku failing to essentially defeat Beerus, the Lord of Destruction. Essentially, Beerus has gone to Earth to essentially wreak havoc, and he has joined Bulma's birthday party. And I think the best portions of this episode 
It's uh, very self-explanatory. It's essentially just Vegeta trying his hardest to make sure that everything is okay for Beerus and that he, no one else does some schmucky little thing to ruin it and Beerus just goes crazy and destroys everything. It's, this is a very entertaining episode. After the calamity of the previous episodes, which are considered to be the worst episodes of Super as a whole, this was a great comeback. It was entertaining. It was fun. It was just straight down hilarious. Vegeta trying so hard to please Lord Beerus is awesome. And all the moments. I mean, like, if you thought the bingo song in the movie was hilarious, Vegeta, like, jumping into the spoilers, like, jumping into the ocean, finding a squid and cooking up sushi for freaking Beerus was just awesome. It was just straight up awesome. I mean, like, I'm just saying, Vegeta, Beer, Vegeta is Beerus's bitch. I know that may rub some people the wrong way, the way I pronounce it, but it's kind of true. Vegeta's kind of Beerus's little bitch. It's kind of, it's just, it's hilarious, just the way things kind of turn out. But with that being said and done, moving off of that, and going to number two on this list, has to go to episode nine, Sorry About the Wait, Lord Beerus. Finally, Super Saiyan God is Born. Yes, this is the full-on transformation episode of Goku becoming Super Saiyan God, and I really enjoyed this episode. I mean, granted, the portions of Goku versus Beerus on in this saga isn't really extravagant or amazing. I feel like the movie was far superior, but if there is something to take from the portions of Goku versus Beerus in the saga in the anime, I feel like is just the subtle moments, the subtle little things that they change and deviate from the movie and the source material, which is the manga by Torotaro, I think is just really cool and awesome. And plus, come on, Super Saiyan Videl, I can get down with that. And if you can't, you need to get a soul and leave me alone because that's freaking awesome. I know we can sit here all day and debate. She's not technically a Super Saiyan. It was Pan who was inside. Fuck, I don't care. Super Saiyan Pan, Le Super Saiyan Videl, leave me alone. I like that. And just the overall transformation of Goku becoming a god and how different it was from the movie, I felt like if it just felt more like an actual ritual slash spiritual experience of Goku becoming a god. It, I mean, the clouds ignited into gold. There was just this just overly extensive looking kind of transformation versus the movie where it's like, bam, he becomes a god. He becomes this fiery golden... Um, fiery red looking kind of creature and there he goes they immediately start attacking each other and start fighting in the cities and mountains and oceans and all that kind of stuff really awesome stuff but i really liked how they did it in the anime that's just my personal opinion but with that being said i'm going to skip the honorable mentions uh and go to my direct number one favorite episode of dragon ball super battle of god's arc battle of god's arc keep that in mind has to go to episode 11 Let's keep going, Lord Beerus, the Battle of Gods continued. Now, for me personally, like I stated, I'm not really the biggest fan of Goku vs. Beerus in the anime. I feel like the movie did a much more superior job at giving us God vs. God, but in the show they gave us like this very weird, weird, like oddly paced, very prolonged freaking just nonsense of just Goku shooting another Kamehameha and Beerus blocking it and shooting those weird Nova looking blasts that are whatever and the universe is about to crumble but never does and Earth just stays still for some reason. I just thought it was very odd and I just didn't like it at all. But this episode in particular is my favorite episode excluding the ending conclusion of Goku vs. Beerus. I think it's the best episode of Goku vs. Beerus. It's entertaining. It's, it's everything a Dragon Ball episode should be. Be, which is fun, entertaining, lighthearted, comedic as hell, and just something that's really badass and epic, but yet doesn't take itself completely seriously. I mean, there's moments where Goku and Beerus are fighting each other, but it looks like something that you see from like a normal American cartoon, which I thought was entertaining. And plus, they did things that really show off Goku's newly found power as a god. I mean, there are things that he does and, you know, accomplishments that he ga gathers and not to mention the really badass moment where he, like, regenerates his body after being almost mortally wounded by Beerus in the fight. Really badass stuff. I mean, I really enjoyed that freaking episode. I mean, out of all the freaking Goku continuously overdrawn Goku versus Beerus fights in the saga... That episode is my hands down my favorite, and of course is my hands down favorite episode out of the saga itself. 
But that's just me. Let me know what you personally think in the comment section below. What did you think about my list? Let me know. And of course, let me know what your personal list is of the best episodes of the Battle of Gods saga, Dragon Ball Super. But with that being said and done, next time, whenever that will be, I will be giving you my top five worst and best episodes of the Resurrection F saga of Dragon Ball Super. So be on the lookout for that. And of course, whenever Universe 6 comes to its end, I'll do the same thing for that and so on and so forth. But with that being said and done, I love Dragon Ball Super. There's a lot of things I love about it, but there are things I don't like about it, That which is why I created both a worst and best. But with that being said and done, comment below and let me know. Shameless plug time. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Josh12. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And this has been Josh12.